Hi everybody, we're working through the Diploma Prep material. This is the chapter on transformations and we're looking specifically at reflections right now. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to take this graph here, uh, y equals x plus 3 squared minus 2, and we're going to sketch the following transformations and then we're going to state, um, we're going to write the new equation, we're going to state the domain and range using set notation. Okay, well first of all, the, the thing that we're looking at here uh, that y equals x plus 3 squared minus 2 is a quadratic that's been moved 3 to the left and 2 down. So it's it's down here looking something like like this. Okay, whatever. Just a, You just need a rough sketch here. Now this is going to be a reflection over the y-axis. So what happens here is this point negative 3, negative 2 is going to get reflected over and it will become the point a positive 3, negative 2. Uh, the y-intercept will stay the same because it'll be invariant, and then this thing's going to come down and look something like that. Okay, not a very good diagram. You're gonna have to forgive me for that, but that's that's what you're gonna get here. Okay, now let's write the equation. Okay, if I plug negative x in, that's going to be y equals okay negative x plus three squared minus two. But I want to be careful here. I want to make sure that I separate. The reflection from the translation, okay? Because now this thing's been moved over, okay? It's if if you're comparing it to the a parabola starting at the origin, it's moved a different direction here. And so what I got to do here is I have to factor that away so that I can see clearly what the translation is. And when you take when you take the negative out, it changes the x to a negative. Th sorry, the the x to positive changes the uh, three to negative three squared minus two. And now I can square both parts uh, underneath these, these parentheses here. And when I square the negative one, it becomes positive one. But I'm left with x minus 3 uh, being squared minus 2. Uh, the domain is going to be all reals. And so maybe we'll write negative infinity out to positive infinity. Uh, the range here, well, actually, this, that's not going to, uh, the transformation here won't affect that. Uh, this is still going to be down to negative 2. Sorry, and I should put hard brackets on that, out to positive infinity. And that's the answer we're looking for.